Back when people used to love station wagons, they were majorly used for carrying stuffs and people around due to its space and excellent fuel economy. It was known as a family car as people used to go camping, picnic trips or even road trips. This extended version of sedan served for nearly a century until minivans and SUVs came along. Let's see where it all began. The first station wagons were built in the year 1910 in United States as depot hacks because they worked around train depots as hacks or taxi cabs as they were known at that time. It was more of a commercial vehicle than a consumer vehicle. Station wagons became costlier because of its availability for wooden bodies. When automobile production resumed after World War II, technological advancements made all steel station wagon bodies more practical, eliminating the cost, noise, and maintenance associated with wooden bodies, which made them what they are today. It's understandable that SUVs and crossovers are everywhere on the market, making the station wagon a rare sight. But my question is, if you have ever driven or had the opportunity to own a station wagon, you must know how good it was. Compared to a traditional SUV or crossover, it offers a lot of space. And by space, I don't simply mean boot space or cargo space. I mean space for anything. You want to carry a lot of people? Check. You need space for your and your neighbor's groceries? Double check. Easy ingress and digress for people of all ages? Triple check. Likewise, there are a lot of uses for station wagon and I wholeheartedly believe that it is a perfect car. Station wagons have low center of gravity, which means if you ever rushed your car back home because your wife was yelling at you, you won't tip over while overtaking someone. It ticks most of the boxes from a consumer's perspective while being an affordable option. In case you think that station wagons can't be cool, need I remind you that a certain station wagon due to a certain incident has its own theme song. But it brings up an interesting question. Despite of all the advantages it offers, why are people still not buying one? I believe that there are three main reasons for it. Obviously, first being the appearance. I'm not saying station wagons are not good looking, but they reminded people of a coffin because it was used as a funeral vehicle. A literal coffin could fit inside it, thus tainting the image of station wagons altogether. SUVs on the other hand offered butch stands and a muscular appeal which people loved. Factors such as larger tires, raised suspension, increased ground clearance and a commanding driving position made the SUV stand out amongst the crowd which made people drift apart from poor baby wagon. Second reason would be the lack of proper marketing and promotions. I believe that if shown in a movie such as Transformers or Fast and Furious, it would have had a larger impact. Similar to how whenever someone spots a yellow Camaro with black stripes, it instantly reminds them of Bumblebee. In order for station wagons to become an icon, it needs to be treated with respect. Manufacturers such as Audi, Subaru and Volvo are still making them and putting in efforts to reignite people's interest in such cars. And I hope it catches on. And the final reason is the evolution of consumer mindset and preferences. The whole concept of being a jack of all trades was appealing, but got stale rather quickly once people started owning multiple cars for different purposes. Nowadays, an MPV or a seven-seater SUV can achieve the exact same set of advantages that a wagon has, thus eliminating its need from the market. But I don't think that we have lost the wagons altogether. What's happening is that wagons are being modified slightly. A good example would be a Subaru Outback. Even though it is being marketed as an SUV, it's just a station wagon with increased ground clearance. And it's less like a sheep in wolf's clothing and more like a husky in wolf's clothing. Another example would be a new evolution in the wagon class called performance wagons. 
I'm sure you might have seen an Audi RS6 Avant which has a 4-liter twin-turbo V8 that outputs 621 horsepower and 627 foot-pounds of torque. I understand why an individual would want to LS swap their car or supercharge a Miata. But putting a 4-liter twin-turbo V8 in a station wagon? Hmm, why on God's green earth would Audi want to do that? No, no, I'm not against it. If anything, I encourage it. I'm just trying to figure out why. Hey! Why? Why? Because we can! But I just want to state that I really appreciate manufacturers trying to revive the segment by putting in more powerful engines, making the car sleek, giving them a menacing look, making them performance oriented. I appreciate all of it. But I did not fall in love with station wagons because of all the factors I just mentioned. I fell in love with simplicity, the practicality, the elegance, the space, the fuel economy and its bland design. Yes, to me, it is just perfect. Even if the entire world is against me, even if you all pick a minivan or an EV or a pickup truck or an SUV, I would still pick station wagons all day, every day. That's all for now. Keep your revs up and I shall see you next time.